for the past four months I've been hammering the rivers. First sign of spring comes, weather reports, temperatures are into double figures. My first initial thought is get on the tench. It's not uncommon for me to start tench fishing probably the end of March. I travel down south, the temperatures are a lot warmer. You just need the right conditions, nice shallow water, and believe me, the tench can feed in, in the right conditions. A lot of stereotype uh, tench anglers seem to have this impression that tench are a summer species, but from what I've proved in the past, you can catch them really early in the year, and they can be very obliging if you get your tactics right, your bait and strategy right. The simple thing you've got to remember is they're not, not in the margins like they are in the summer. They tend, to, they tend to feed out a little bit further out, maybe whatever, 10, 15 wraps. They just like to be in deeper water. And then as the, as the season progresses, then I start to come in a little bit closer, margin fishing and fishing the waggler in the edge as well, which is what I love to do most. My first session was maybe two weeks ago. It was still spring, probably even a bit of winter in there as well. We had hard frosts. I managed to brace at eight pounders and probably five or six other fish, all over six pound. But my tactics were totally different. All my bites were in the night, apart from one in the morning. And I went with a method feeder. I couldn't get a bite during the day or on my, my usual go-to rig, which is uh, the maggot feeder rig on worms. And then this session, the conditions are totally different. We've got daytime temperatures of 15, 16 degrees. So I thought, I can't get a bite on the method feeder. So I went to plan B, went back to my trusty uh, maggot feeders and bingo, they're on it. There's my first fish of the morning, and I've worked bloody hard for this one. We started off on the method feeder, because that was the gold method last week. Um, 10 bites on the method feeder last week, and I've not had no action whatsoever, so I've swapped over to the trusty maggot bolt feeder, filled up with chopped worm and maggot, worm on the hook, and within five minutes, bingo, I've had this lovely seven pound, two ounce female. Well, it would have been seven, six if it had the rest of its tail, but I think it's been in the wars with an otter. But a pleasing start. I'm over the moon with that one. Yeah, spot on. The reason why I chose this particular swim again, one, I did really well off it last year. I know there's a nice feature that runs parallel to the bank with it being a bar. Both sides of the bar, it's 13 feet. We've got weed on the far side. It comes up like a gravel hump to 11 feet, which, like I say, it runs parallel to the bank, probably 30 or 40 yards. So it ticks all boxes with, with tench and carp, really. Also, I did well there last week as well. And the wind was blowing in that direction, a westerly and tench love to follow the wind. Good swim. <laughs> Why I didn't catch last night? Well, my theory is I put a bit of micro pellet out last night in some ground bait. For some reason or another, it didn't work. 10 o'clock this morning, I changed my spot mix over to hemp, castor, dead maggot, and some chop worm. And the, the fish just turned onto it straight away, whether it was the bait or not, or just conditions or the time of the morning, I'm not sure, but it certainly improved my fishing. Uh, the results proved because in an hour, I had four or five bites. Feisty. Landing that fish is a perfect example of why I use the long reach landing net. There's, I wouldn't have been able to net it before and I've only just put my waders on so that enabled me to net it without getting wet. After a trio of like six, maybe seven pounders, I finally got that tape that I was after and what a take it was, it nearly ripped the rod off the rest. With the added pressure of cameras being in place, 
I wasn't quite sure if I'd get like, I wanted a near pounder basically, and that was the fish that I caught. Well, that's an absolute right result. Constant spawning every time I get a bite, and it's paid off. I've had this fish what I was after, an eight pounder, and uh, it's eight pound four ounce. This time on the, on the maggot feeder on a worm, and it took off like an absolute beast. What a stunning fish, just look at the girth of that. It almost looks like a summer fish already. Beautiful buttercup colour. Perfect example of a tench. Once you get initial response from the tench and you know the feeding in front of you and the fizz in, you see the odd fish roll, definitely don't step off the gas at that point. Keep at it, keep spawning every bite. Otherwise the fish will just they'll carry on doing a circuit around the lake and it might be another four to six hours before you get them there again. When we first started, pretty miserable, drizzly. That was the point when I wasn't getting any bites, but as the morning went on, the sun got higher in the sky, the bites increased, so did the fish that I landed. Also, the temperature rose, maybe when, the, when it was probably about 15, 16 degrees, as they usually do, gravel pits, the bites tailed off. The fish seemed to step off the gas a little bit or move further around the lake. That's when I chilled out a little bit. If you notice that I use two nets, I always set them on full extension, in this case three and a half metre, uh, extra long landing net handles. And I'll have one on the left hand side of the swim, one on the right hand side of the swim. This is because, obviously I'm using three rods. I don't want to be stepping over my pod to land on one just to get the landing net. So yeah, it's a get out of jail method. Definitely something worth thinking about. Do you know what, this is absolutely crazy. We've gone from winter this morning to spring about 11 o'clock when the bites start. And now we're in full blown summer. I've got two in the net at the same time. Would you believe it? Super brace of male tench. One seven pound, one probably six and a half. I haven't weighed it, but it's a cracking solid fish. Beautiful brace of male tench there. Seven pound and about six and a half. Look at that. My hook bait of choice is four short sections, maybe an inch and a half dendrobenas, depending on how thick they are. They go on a push stop, use a size 10 or a 12 hook, depending on the bait. Also, a half fill the maggot feeder with worm, also the soil goes in as well. Then after that, I use bait spray. Uh, I use the pineapple range, really, because the soil, it absorbs all the uh, smell and scent and gives you that extra boost. And then after that, I just top it up with maggots, and away you go. Last knockman's quickly approaching now, so my plan is to introduce maybe 30 or 40 balls of ground bait on that bar that I'm fishing on, with the aim to get my head down for the night. It's been a pretty hectic day. We've had non-stop action, triple hookups, loads of tension. I'm quite satisfied with what I caught, so I'm gonna try and get my head down. I'm gonna fill it in, these nice balls of ground bait. There's not much particle in them, just a little bit of hemp micro pellets, maybe quarter of a tin of corn, and I'm hoping that it holds them there till tomorrow morning for first light, and then we're gonna give it beans all over again.
The reason why I bombed all those ground bait balls in last night was simply so I could just get a good night's sleep. I knew I was going to be filming first light, but that went out the window. Uh, I couldn't resist it. It's just the nature of the beast, really, and it's what us tench anglers do. I cast the rods back out. Two hours later, sod's law, the rod goes off. I'm retrieving that one. The next rod goes up. It was absolute carnage and probably only had about three hours sleep, but that's what I love and I'll, I'll never change it. My first fish into the evening happened to be a beautiful carp, which is my first one uh, from fishing in this lake, which is surprising really, the amount of carp that's in it. But it was an absolute stunner, heavily skilled uh, stocky, which I was pleased to land, which is testament to why I use 10 pound line and a heavy setup. Been up as well. First fish of the evening. I mean, it's a carp like, but I'll take it. It's a bunny one. Nice fish. Lovely. One thing I noticed last night after I'd retrieved the marker float after that initial bait up with the ground bait is my spot had massively increased. It had gone from half a rod length wide, maybe, to probably one and a half times that size. So the tension really come in over the last two weeks. It cleared the whole spot. As predicted, we had a pretty busy night last night. Five tench and one carp. And I've just had this lovely seven pounder. It's still carrying leeches, which proves it's still spring. One thing I will say is, don't leave it until the summer to come out for these beauties, because they are pretty obliging, especially when the sun's out. And I'm definitely coming back in a few weeks time when it's a bit warmer. I'll tackle them in the margins, hopefully with the float rod. Hopefully you've picked up a few tips along the way.